David Delar here for a, another blues lick. I think this is number three, if I'm not mistaken. And um, this one's uh, a little bit more challenging than the previous two. Um, this is all about the rhythm, really. And what's really cool about this, this lick is it changes between um, straight and swung. So uh, a good sort of introduction into that on the guitar is to try to keep the, the bass uh, going. So maybe just hold that G. Two, three, four, and then one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. I'm just doing an open G uh, string um, quavers. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one and two and three and four and one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. That's going to do is really help you change between the straight bits of this tune, which is at the start of the riff, and this sort of swung thing. So just kind of practice that maybe with a metronome so you know that you're not speeding up. Um, you know, just ticking along one and uh, one beat and. separate them a little bit more so you go one E and a two E and a one and two and one E and a one and one E and a two and that will really help with trying to play straight and swung straight and swung and switching between the two um, so let's learn the lick so the, the lick is essentially all built around this sort of G minor pentatonic thing so um, that's the first thing to probably learn is uh, to kind of get your fingers around that, that shape. It's all on the third fret and it's probably one of the most simplest patterns um, you can possibly do. I won't do a video on that because there's millions of that. So the first part of it is this, um, you're holding down the thumb here, I'm using my thumb, you don't have to but I'm using my thumb, um, to hold down that G and that's just doing the pulse to three, four. And the first bit is just two G's on the octave, which is the uh, D string, fifth fret. And then I'm going first finger on B flat, third fret, third finger on C, fifth fret, uh, also on the G string. And I'm going uh, up to C, and then down to B flat. And it's always a good idea to sing along to these uh, riffs and licks and stuff like that when you're trying to learn it. So, and then try to play it. And we're going to finish off that first bar with uh, a little slide into D. Yeah, so one and then. D at the end, and that's on the third fret B string. And then we're going to go to a uh, hammering on to the B natural, which is on the G string, uh, full fret. And we're going to do this in triplet time. So we're going to go up to the A on the fifth fret, down to the G, down to the uh, E on the fifth fret, D on the third fret. And then we're gonna do that um, C B flat C B flat thing. But this time it's in straight, so we go. Yeah. And then we're finishing off with a D. And then an open G there. So all together a bit slower.
and that's the Delta Blues lick um, around a G7 chord. If you wanted to do a, a bit of an extension on that, and I, there's a free PDF down there, as always, there's free PDFs, um, you can try learning that same riff, but uh, down an octave. And that sounds quite cool, it's like a bass sort of riff. Down there. Um, so yeah, free PDFs. Let me know what you think. I hope you're enjoying these videos. Um, let me know if you, you are. If there's any requests or any questions, just leave me a comment. It's always great to hear from you. Cheers, guys.